So how do you feel about, if you were to be working in a shop, how would you feel about one of your clients going to another barber in the shop? Yeah, the shop. I know a lot of a lot of barbers, you know, feel kind of awkward about that. I've heard, I've seen, like, or heard of barbers who I hey, don't let them mess you up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> should have come to me. Or, or like, or like your client will come into the shop, but go into somebody else and like you won't say hi to them. Or... Man, no, they're not gonna say hi to me. That too, yeah, I've seen that happen too. So to me, me personally, I don't care. I always tell people, bro, I'm not the barber that's gonna cut everybody hair in the. Yeah. Or just well, I'm yeah. not that kind of ball, bro. If you gotta go somewhere else, that's fine. Yes. But all I ask, I beg, just go to the right part. <laughs> I tell my clients, I said, bro, if I'm booked, I can either try to get you in later or earlier, but if I can't, I got a couple barbers on hand you can go to. Because there be people, you know, they'll go to a bar where they just found on Google yeah. or whatever. And they pictures. Be deceived. Yeah. So, man, I want to do because he was just, he looked cold. Dude, mess me up. He mess me up. Back my hand. Push me back. And now, next time you come and get cut by me, my cut not gonna be as icy, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm fixing, yeah, I'm yeah. fixing somebody else work. Mm -hmm. Whereas, if you would've called me, you know, bro, you know anybody else that could cut me up? I send people to Jacob. Or, who, Ryan Red. I send people yeah. to whoever, but, because I know they gonna get them right. Mm -hmm. So I don't really mind it, bro, honestly. Yeah. But if I was in the shop, I feel like it would be like a little awkward, like, mm -hmm. damn, but I don't really care. We yeah. had people like that in ball school, they would come oh, yeah. you or red or you, the yeah. jump around. Yeah, I don't yeah. Care. me, I, I don't care at all, like zero, but I can tell clients come in and they'll think I care. Yeah. Sometimes they won't say hi or they don't greet me or like, they'll try not to make eye contact, you know? They'll be in the shop for like 30 minutes and then I look up and I see them over there. I'm like, oh, dang, what's up, bro? Hey, I didn't even see you there. Oh, damn, I didn't see you. <laughs> Shut up. Man, you know, I cut here every single day. You know exactly what I mean. But, um, no, I really, I really don't care. And, like, as long as I, I'm with my schedule's full, I don't care. What's like, up? So, and even if my schedule wasn't full, I, I still wouldn't care. Because, you know, I feel like. I feel like uh, if, like if a client doesn't want to come to me anymore, that must be because something that I'm doing or some way I'm cutting right. is you know isn't satisfying them. That's cool. Like yeah, that's, that's, that's satisfying. Go ahead. Yeah. Get some money regardless. Yeah. So yeah, I, I really don't care. I don't mind if you know any of my clients want to leave me or cheat on me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all good. No, no, no hate, man. Feel free to come back and don't don't come crying and <laughs> really mess you up. So. <laughs> <laughs> what is good youtube thank you so much for tuning in again i hope you enjoyed it if you haven't already please make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you can be the first to find out when i drop a new video if you have a topic that you want me to talk about let me know in the comments below as always make sure you share this with a friend and i'll see y'all next time peace